this is one of the topic that uh, students really struggle when you want to make subject of a formula by rearranging a formula. So here, uh, I want to do a few examples on this topic. The question is rearrange formula to make x the subject of the formula. So here, in this case, here y is the subject. Now, you want to change the subject from y to x. So, uh, the process is really simple. What you have to do is you want to isolate what whatever you want to make the subject on one side. So I want to get rid of this x minus 4 on this side. So can I write like this? So y, I'll write like this, is equal to 3 over x minus 4. I'll write this in the bracket. So I want to get rid of this x minus 4 in the denominator. So I have to multiply by x minus 4 in the numerator on this side. So if you multiply this by x minus 1 on this side, it also multiply x minus 4 on this side. So what I've done is I basically multiplied x minus 4 on both sides. So this is x minus 4. I'll go very slowly so that you can you can pause the video at any stage and try to do it yourself. So what happens? This x minus 4 and x minus 4 gets cancelled. So you got y times x minus 4 is equal to 3. Now this is quite uh, easy to manipulate. So what I'm going to do, the next step is to expand this. So this is y times x is yx, or you can write xy. <coughs> excuse me, minus 4y is equal to 3. So now I want to, <coughs> I want to, uh, I want to get x here. Okay, so yeah, I think we did, uh, we could have done. Okay, so I think we did, a, uh, instead of this, this is more confusing here. Yeah? You have, so what can we do? I want to isolate the x. I want to get rid of this y. So, the next step I'm going to write like this, y over x minus 4 over y. So if I'm dividing this side by y, I'm going to also divide this side by y. So what happens, this y and this y gets cancelled. So what remains is, uh, I'll write it here, so this implies, so let me use a blue color, so this is x minus 4 is equal to 3 over y. Now I want to get rid of this 4, so I'm going to add 4 to this side. So I'm going to say x minus 4 plus 4. So you do the same thing to the other side. So that is 3 over y plus 4. So basically it is like balancing equation. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So this and this gets cancelled. So x as a subject of this formula is 3 over y plus 4. You can simplify this, but this is quite good. So this is your final answer. So x is 3 over y plus 4. <coughs> okay, the next question. y is equal to x plus 6 over x plus 1. So I want to make x the subject. So the same thing, I'm going, I'm going to multiply both sides. <coughs> Excuse me, so let me multiply. So the next step is like this. x times x plus 1 is equal to, I'll put this in bracket, x plus 6 over x plus 1 times x plus 1. So I multiplied both sides by x plus 1. This is x plus 1. Now, I hope you understand why I multiplied by x plus 1. It is to get rid of this. Or cancel this x plus 1. So this x plus 1 and this x plus 1 gets cancelled. So the next step is uh, you got y, let me write this, y times x plus 1 is equal to x plus 6. Now here this is slightly different than the previous example. You have an x here and you have an x here. So you want to isolate the x's together. So let me use a black color. So let me expand this. So y times x is xy plus y times 1 is y is equal to x plus 6. So I want to bring the x's together. So I'll do the next step like this. 
if I take away x from this side, this and this will get cancelled. I have to take away y from this side. And I want to get rid of this y from this side. So I take away y from this side. So I take away y from this side. So this has become two sides. So this is one side and this is the other side. So what happens now? So this and this gets cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. So if you go through the steps, it's not difficult, okay? But if you want to get to the answer in one step, you are not going to get it. So this is x, y minus x is equal to, this is 6 minus y. Okay, now what can we do? Can we factor out an x here? So this, if you want to write one more step, this is x, y minus x times, this is times 1 is equal to 6 minus y. I'll do it here. Okay, so to do the next step, so this is, I can factor out an x. You've got x here and you've got an x here. So if you factor out an x, if you factor out an x, you'll have y minus 1 on this side is equal to 6 minus y. So I want to get rid of this y minus 1. So this is x times y minus 1 over y minus 1 is equal to is equal to 6 minus y over 6 minus y minus 1. So I'm dividing both sides by y minus 1. So what happens? This and this gets cancelled. And uh, lo and behold, we have got x as a subject, which is 6 minus y over y minus 1. You have to go through all these steps. I've done more steps. You can delete some of the steps if you are smart enough. So this is your final answer. <clears throat> okay, so I want you to pause this if you would like to do this yourself. I'm going to do it for much faster here. So I'm going to multiply or we can cross multiply. So you can do directly like this. So this is y times 3x plus 5 so this and this are cross multiplying and multiplying 3x minus, sorry, plus 5 to both sides are one and the same. So what I have done is, this is, I multiplied this side by 3x plus 5. Okay, so you do the same thing to this side, so I multiply this side by 3x plus 5. So what happens? This and this gets cancelled. So that's how we got this. And now expanding this, so this is 3xy plus 5y is equal to 2x minus 1. Okay, so what can you, let us factor out. So let us take this to this side. This is one way of doing it and take this to this side. So this will become, when this moves from or basically you're taking away 2x from both sides and taking away 5y from both sides. So the next step is, okay, so let me, I don't like to do like this. So, okay, so I'll let me do the right way. So this is, um, if you take away 2x from this side, you have to take away 2x from this side. You're taking away 5y from this side, you have to take away 5y from this side. So these are two sides of an equation. So what happens is this and this gets cancelled. So what remains is this is 3xy minus 2x is equal to this is negative 1 take away 5y. Okay, so yeah, what can you factor out? You can factor out an x. So you have 3y minus 2. And this is minus 1 minus 5y. So this is nothing but, you can divide both sides by 3y by 2. So x is nothing but minus 1 minus 5y over 3y minus 2. I'll do one next step, which is a bit difficult for some of you probably. So this step, the next step can be written like this. I'm going to multiply. So if you multiply, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by negative 1. So I hope you can, so I'm going to 
I don't like this negative 1, negative 5y. And this is allowed in maths. Whatever you do on to the top and the bottom is fine. So basically, I have not done anything. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. So this will become negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 plus 5y. And this becomes minus 3y plus 2. So the neatest form of writing this in the, the subject, making x the subject, is 1 plus 5y over 2 minus 3y. This is also right. There's nothing wrong in this, but this is in a much neater way because you don't, I don't like, or mathematicians don't like these negative. So this is what, the one way of doing it. Okay. So let us do the last question. So yeah, I'm going to do like this. So what can I do? So let me cross multiply. So I'll do it fast. So this is 2xy is equal to 3 times x plus 2. This goes up and gets multiplied here. And this went up like this. So this is 2xy is equal to 3x plus 6. So 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 2 is 6. Now let me, so if you take away 3x from this side, you have to take away 3x from this side. So these are the two sides. So this is 2xy minus 3x is equal to 6. So I'll finish it off here. I would like you to do this yourself. This is a challenge for you. I will make a video, next video probably to do that. So what can you factor out here? I can factor out an x. So if you factor out an x, you have 2y minus 3 in the bracket is equal to 6. So now I can divide both sides by 2y minus 3. So if you divide this side by 2y minus 3, you can divide this side by also 2y minus 3. So this gets cancelled. So final answer is x is equal to 6 over 2y minus 3. So this is how you make subject of a formula.